All right, the latest on what's happening in Tunisia. The president, Ben Ali, has stepped down. Reports say he's left the country, unclear exactly where he's headed to. We've heard reports of Malta, but that has not been confirmed. The country's prime minister says he is taking over as interim president. This man, Mohamed Ghannouchi, says that everything will be done in accordance with the constitution and a democratic process. However, the military is still very much in charge in Tunisia, in control of the international airport, in control of key government buildings. This coming after weeks and weeks of protests by by young, frustrated Tunisian citizens who were demanding that their leader step down. It was the moment millions of Egyptians had waited for since the revolution began. Hosni Mubarak held to account. The judge's words were elaborate and harsh. The great people breathed a sigh of relief after a long nightmare. Not for a single night, but for three decades. 30 years of black oppression without any glimpse of hope that Egypt will witness a new and brighter day. For the generation that knew no other leader than him, it seemed Mubarak was going to rule for life. Instead, the 84-year-old deposed leader will now spend the rest of his days incarcerated. His long-hated and feared interior minister was also sentenced to life in prison for his role in the killings of hundreds of protesters during the uprising. He was Libya's self-styled revolutionary leader, who ruled with an iron fist for more than 40 years. Colonel Muammar Gaddafi said he would rather die than step down from the leadership of Libya. But his grip on power also resulted in the death of many others. He leaves behind a country deeply scarred by his rule. We've got uh, more developments in the Middle East. Yemen's Ali Abdullah Saleh is understood to have resigned as uh, the president of the country after almost 10 months of bloody protests.